From transporting the cash box safely, saving you tons of time and risk, to being able to have an explosive entrance into teamfights. The gateway provides so many options and has quickly raised being one of, if not the most important gadget in the lights arsenal. I'm going to provide some tips I've learned using the gadget in high elo ranked lobbies. I'm currently in the top 200 on the leaderboards and I am a big flex player. I often pick light, medium, and heavy all within the same session. So I like to take the approach of how this utility can help both yourself and your team. Let's get right into this, starting with the basic stats of the gadget. After both gateway ends are placed, they will last 20 seconds, and the cooldown is 40 seconds. After placing the first portal, it will reset once you go beyond 70 meters. So be sure to stand at the end of the distance if you'd like to throw a portal further than 70 meters. This reset is also only distance based, so you can pre-place the first gate at any time and it will stay there for as long as you stay within that distance. A note to keep in mind is this gadget can be disabled by a glitch. The basic uses are that you can press your interact button to go through it. You can throw objects through it, including cash boxes, canisters, nades, etc. And keep in mind, both teammates and enemies can use the portal. Now, let's cover some tips for using the gateway successfully in your games. First, we will start with concepts to understand about the gadget, and then we'll get into more complex uses that expand on the basics. So kicking it off with the first tip, portal faster. Considering the travel distance of your throws and how long it may take, if you want to throw down a portal quickly, throw the further distance gateway first and then throw the second gateway closer to you so that the gateway opens up faster. Next tip, carry your state. This applies to your momentum or even cloak. The portal will take into consideration the cardinal direction of stuff that you're throwing along with what direction you're moving through. This will also carry movements such as dash, sword dashes, and it will put you out in the same direction you go in. And it will keep your current state such as being cloaked or vanish bombed. Early height advantage. Of course, height advantage is pretty big, but early on in the game, getting your team on a rooftop near a vault or center of the map can be game changing. This helps you set up an advantageous tempo for your team. Safer revives. You can grab your teammates statues that are in bad positions and bring them to a much safer position. You can also throw a portal to your teammate who is currently reviving and then throw the other end of the gateway somewhere closer to the fight or the cash out or wherever you want to go in order to get them back into the game a little bit faster. A good teammate would also throw a gateway in order to portal right into the subscribe button. So be a good teammate. General movement. Now, it may be obvious to simply use this to move around quicker, but it's something I don't see often, especially off spawn. Getting back into the fight with your team faster is very good. Keep in mind other enemies can use it, so you can attempt to bait them into bad positions or even off the map. Unfortunately, in higher elo, players aren't fooled so easily, so I haven't been able to pull this trick off just yet. Flank. You can pre-place it before a fight or in the middle of a fight, this will vary depending on the situation you're in, but utilizing this to gain an advantage and shoot from different angles during a fight can be very, very strong. Escape. Pre-placing a portal before a fight in order to escape when one is needed is obviously a very beneficial tactic. However, you may not always be prepared. So throwing your end portal far away, then throwing your second portal at your feet to quickly escape in a bad situation can help you stay alive when you're in a pinch. Quicker rerouting for team. Sometimes you and your team may need to get out of a bad situation. Gateway does an amazing job at doing this, especially when you are defending a vault and multiple teams show up. You may want to just move on to the cash out and defend from there instead of wasting your time. Place a portal where your team is and then run away with dash, use your cloak to escape while they don't know, and then throw it near the end of your 70 meters in order to just get them out of that situation. If you also have a vault, you can just bring that with you. Instant cash box transport. This is probably one of the more important ones. To expand off of our previous tips about how objects will go through the portal, you can actually place a portal above a vault, and then when it activates, the cash box will pop up into the air. This will actually go through the portal and transport it right to the end gate. This is very useful for speeding up the pace of transferring a box. Juking. Throwing two portals in the middle of a fight, or even pre-placing them before you know you're about to fight, can give you a very quick escape when you're dealing with something like a heavy shotgun or an RPG that's about to be in your face. 
This can even cause a distraction for the enemy while your teammates are actively shooting them. Whether it be escaping to survive or just getting a new angle on the fight, this is very beneficial. Staying alive as a light so that you can keep outputting your DPS is very big. Be sure to be using this one pretty often in your game. This also works really well if you're using cloak, as you can stay cloaked while going through the gateway, making you a very tricky person to track down. Explosive entry. This is a very fun way to enter fights when you have stuff like RPGs, frag grenades, gas grenades, even glitch grenades, or any good utility to help you start a fight. What you're going to want to do is set up the portal, get the cardinal direction of where you need to throw stuff, and then just start throwing everything through the portal to do a bunch of damage from a safe distance and then enter or even push from a different angle. The enemies are going to be pretty low HP at this point and it should be a pretty easy cleanup. Holding cash outs. Now this may be the obvious one, however I do think this might be the most important one. It's something that you want to do as you're defending a cash out is just to set up the first gateway. Then you can play around the cash out as you normally would and at the moment you need to get back to the cash out you simply drop the other end of the portal. You can use stuff like the stun, the glitch, or really anything in order to defend that cash out once you go through the portal. You can even pre-throw glitches or grenades, but knowing where to position these gateways are gonna kind of change up depending on the map, depending on the enemy compositions, depending on your own team's composition. There's gonna be a lot of different ways. You can also throw one much higher above the point, meaning that you can't go back through it, or you can place one safely so that other people, including yourself, can use it to go back and forth. It's really going to be situation to situation what the right technique to do is here. This game provides you with a ton of tools to shape the battlefield and play in a variety of ways. This new gadget is just a gateway to more fun and is easily one of the strongest gadgets in the game. I think finding out where it shines most is going to be something we learn over time, but personally I've been dropping the gateway in the final round for tracking dart and found a lot of success with that. Gateway is still a very strong gadget in the final round, but I just really enjoy the tracking dart, so keep that in mind when deciding what reserves to bring and when to bring them out. There may be a use case to bring a variety of different things, so always be considering when gateway is best to bring and when it may not provide as much as you want. Be sure to stick around and watch some clips of gateway in action first i want to say thank you to my youtube members melly joyce and tj burke comment below any cool tricks or tips that you've learned using gateway yourself open up new ways to play in the arena and i will see you in the finals we can make it to see i still have pad Watch out for the mines. I killed one mine. Oh shit. Oh, oh god. Sorry. Oh shit, Pink's here. Yeah, I'm just leaving to revive. We really need to just like play our lives, most importantly. If we can get it, we can get it, but I need third party this. That would be better. I'm gonna drop a port for you there. Brings you up the stairs. Careful here. He's weak. Orange on site. All purple though. Two orange dead. Two down orange. Oh yeah, this one's below. Got him. Good shit. 